And we are live this evening from St. Louis, Missouri, the Dome at America's Center, playing host to Thursday Night Football in Week 9 of the XFL. Two more weeks to go in the season. Well, this is one of those two, so one more after this. The Seattle Sea Dragons tonight taking on the St. Louis Battlehawks. As the XFL season comes to a close, and away we go. Allen with the return, and past the 30 up to around the 32. As we get things going. And Wilson leading the offensive line out for St. Louis, hands off to Hawkins. And Hawkins dragged to the 35 by the defense. Gain of three on that play will make it second and seven. Excuse me. Uh, and now a bit of a scramble. But St. Louis still with the ball. We'll take a look at the advanced replay on that one. Fast forward a little bit here. He catches the ball. Seems as though he struggled to hang on to it for a moment, but through it all, still keeping it in his hand. And giving Seattle, or sorry, St. Louis, another first down. Almost picked off there. Goes to the sidelines. And that'll be incomplete to make it second down. But again, that's better, much better than an interception. Wilson fakes the handoff, and now into the end zone, but not in anyone's arms. Incomplete once again. Third and ten now. Uh, St. Louis just passed the 50. And one last hope here. Catch is made. And the Battlehawks keep the ball thanks to Spain. Wilson stepping back to pass, fires it away, and the catch is made, and I don't think anyone's going to catch him. Touchdown, Battlehawks. Broderick with the catch, and we'll take a look at the replay on this one. Boom. Once he broke away from that defender, there was no catching up to him. And now we go to the point after touchdown, which is easily made. 7-0 in favor of the home team here in the first quarter on XFL Thursday Night Football. Marquis getting set to kick as the Seattle Sea Dragons take the ball for the first time here tonight. Deep in the end zone, Puckett will come out. The 15, the 20, the 25... And inside the 25 is where he will be stopped to bring out Seattle's offense for the first time in this game. There's the snap. Karras stepping way back. And still keeping the ball. He steps out of bounds. Anthony, that is, number 75. And a good gain there for Seattle. Moving them quite close to the 50. And incomplete. One man from each team going for that, but neither of them getting it. Second and ten in this first quarter. Karras holding it out, hoping for a handoff. And deflected. And into the tunnel. Off the defender's hands. Pretty good shot there. But not good for Seattle. It's third and ten. This will most likely be the last play of the first quarter. Into the air, and caught by Lamp. To keep the ball with the Sea Dragons in the quarter number two. No, one more play. One more play. And a deep one, and almost got there. Almost got there. Unbelievable. Let's see, let's see the advance replay on this one, and we'll skip ahead a little bit. Uh, here it is. He takes the ball. He actually almost drops it. Jesse takes him down. 
and so, so close. Literally less than a yard away. And that is where Seattle will start the second quarter. 7-0 in favor of the, of the Battle Hawks, but it won't be like that for long. First and one. First and goal. There's the snap. And into the end zone. Wait a minute. Picked off. You don't see that every day. Picked off in the end zone. And it took me a moment to realize it, but now the Battle Hawks have taken the ball. Seattle so close to a score, but it's ripped away from them by the home team. Unbelievable. Like I said, you don't see that every day. Every week, every month, every year. Maybe I'm exaggerating, but an unbelievable play. And there's another pick. There's another pick. Jones comes up with the ball for Seattle. And now a chance to get that touchdown back that they were robbed of to start this second quarter. There's the snap. And Karras will fire it away. Pass is caught. Down around the 23, the 22. And first and ten. Good pass here. It is caught. And it'll make it first and goal. With about eight yards to the goal. And into the end zone. Pass is caught. And Seattle able to score. Touchdown for the Sea Dragons as we take a look at the replay here. He had two men on him as soon as he caught the ball, but a catch is a catch. And it's <laughs> seven to six, now seven to seven. Sea Dragons tying the game in the second quarter. So here we go. Seattle, or sorry, St. Louis. We'll get the ball once again. And the Battle Hawks hoping to take back the lead that they had at the start of the second quarter. Hoping to get it back before halftime. Got a lot of ground to cover in a minute and 21 seconds. But we'll see what they can do. There's the snap. Wilson hands off to Hawkins. And Hawkins, with a good gain here, has almost the entire defensive squad of the Seattle Sea Dragons coming down on him. But still managing to get a few yards in. Look at this absolute pile. There's like five, six, seven guys there. But still a gain of six. As Wilson steps back to pass on second and four. Where's the ball? I don't know. It is incomplete. I think he had it for a moment. We'll take a look now at the advanced replay. Throws the ball. And here's the crucial point. Catch is made for the Battle Hawks. But in the ensuing chaos, yeah, there it is. The receiver drops the ball. Oof. <coughs> Excuse me. Wilson stepping back to pass, and now, once again, a scuffle. I don't know who has it. And nobody has it. It's incomplete once again. We'll skip through that because we've already done it once. Fourth and four, it'll be a punt, which is not something you see that often in Football Simulator. And a high kick. Puckett up to the 27. And now Seattle. 27 seconds to do something magical. What can they do? Away it goes. Is it intercepted? It's intercepted. One play, and St. Louis gets it back. Ladies and gentlemen, the unpredictability of the game known as Football Simulator, the absolute chaos on display tonight. It's beautiful in its way. Spain at around 24. Now one more play to take us to halftime, and perhaps one more touchdown. Wilson hands off to Hawkins, and he won't get through the wall. 
And we will have a 7-7 tie here at halftime as Thursday Night Football continues. Sea Dragons and the Battle Hawks preparing to kick off quarter number three. And who would, ever, who would have ever thought we'd be seeing football in the middle of April. And then there's the USFL coming up, which, again, I'm not sure if we'll cover. We probably won't, seeing as uh, how the MLS is scheduled to return after the conclusion of the XFL season next week. But you never know. You never know. Karras found his receiver, but it's deflected by both the offense and the defense off into the sidelines. Second and ten. And Karras continuing to step back. Away it goes, and the pass is intercepted by Ojemudia. And just like that, St. Louis with the ball again, like I said, the chaos on display in this game. Wilson back out. And a beautiful pass to start off this possession to Terrell, number three. Wilson fires it away, and it's incomplete. Quite a few deflections on that. A lot of volleying. Head, head. Wilson once again will fire it away. Passes caught at the 13, I believe, by Sneed. Number seven, Sneed. Head, head. And now Wilson hoping for a touchdown here. And he will get it. Seattle making it, sorry, St. Louis. Very important distinction there. St. Louis making it 13 to seven. And I think I get confused because of the acronyms on the scoreboard. But SEA is Seattle, STL is St. Louis. I have to remember that for the last, for the next four, minute, four minutes and 14 seconds. Extra point is good, 14 to seven in favor of St. Louis. There's the kick, and now Puckett deep in the end zone, almost all the way to the goalpost. We'll take it out to the 23. And uh, do a bit of ballet as well, it seems. Karras hands off to Costin, who gets nothing. But doesn't lose anything either, so. Second and 10. Karras fires it away, and an excellent opportunity for a breakaway there. Would have been a guaranteed touchdown if he caught the ball and was able to get away from the defense, but it was not to be, at least not at this moment. And now on third and 10, Karras once again stepping back to pass, and it's picked off by St. Louis. Taken down at the 39, and he looked like he was going to take off. The defense acting quickly, but the damage may be done already. Head, head. Starting now at the 39. And that will leave us with one play to go in this third quarter. There's the snap. Wilson fires it away. And it is incomplete. 14 to seven in favor of the St. Louis Battlehawks at the end of the third quarter, three minutes to go, live from the Dome at America's Center. And for any professional wrestling fans watching this broadcast, that was the site of the 2022 Royal Rumble. I was lucky enough to attend it personally. True story. Uh, Taylor coming up with the ball, and now I believe Seattle has taken it as I once again, ramble on about professional wrestling. Karras holding it out, desperately seeking someone to take it. 
And he does find someone, but he only gets one yard. And if they score a touchdown here, they'll probably have to go for a two-point conversion. You really have to do risk assessment in a situation like that. Do you go do you go for the two and take the gamble? Or do you go for the easy extra point and prolong this game? Quite the dilemma. Jordan with the catch, just shy of a first down. And coming up to the two minute warning, but of course, there doesn't seem to be any timeouts in football simulator. Fourth and two, I didn't even notice. Punted away into the end zone and past the end zone, past the goal post. For a touchback. And that's gonna bring him out to the 25 and possibly put an end to this game unless the chaos of football simulator comes through for the Seattle Sea Dragons. Hoping for an interception here. Wilson being pursued, has to fire, and the interception! He had it for a second. He had it for a second. But the Battlehawks keeping the ball into third down. Nine yards. Wilson. Who has it? Who has it? I think it's Spain with the ball, and indeed it is. And St. Louis with another first down. Wilson steps back. Sends it away. Right at the 50, I think. As we enter... Well, we have entered into the final minute of this game. Coming up to the final 30 seconds. Quarterback being chased, interception! Interception! Right into his hands and with 25 seconds to go, there's a minute chance. There's a, an absolutely minute chance with two plays, three plays maybe, for the Sea Dragons. No runs, just passing. They have to go for it, and they will, and it will be caught. And now this may be the most dramatic finish in the entire short history of the XFL. And the fourth quarter comes to an end, and the handoff to Ryan will throw it away. The final score, St. Louis 14, Seattle 7. Good night from the Dome at America Center.